that I'm drinking is actually really good. I was a little shocked that it was small, but it's not bitter and it goes down smooth without any sugar or milk. And now I am grabbing my breakfast and it's a French baguette sandwich and it's pretty much ham and butter and I was confused like what did I just buy? So on my train ride from Brussels to Paris, I ended up recording a video to tell my friends the reason why I didn't go to sleep the night before my flight because I ended up finding a wallet and purse belonging to a First Nations senior citizen. She had been robbed that day and it's an amazing like supernatural encounter story. Me and my mom or going to all of these addresses that we found in the wallet to see if we could return the wallet to the woman. At some point during this travel vlog series, I'll probably post that video or some version of it. It was just really amazing to be with my mom and see God use us together to impact someone's life. And the big lesson I took away from it, and it was a reminder that if you wanna be used for great things, you have to be willing to be inconvenienced. All right, well, let's get back to my Paris travels. Headed to, well, I just got the train from Brussels. So I'm now in Paris at the Gare du Nord. I don't know how to say that. Once you step off the Tally's train, <laughs> the police were on the train. They go through asking for passports. So you could have a ticket, but you don't have a passport. It's gonna be a problem. So yes, yeah, so I'm here. I'm really excited. I'm about to find my Airbnb, check in, freshen up, and then figure out where is uh, got the Paris Museum Pass and I also got a hop on hop off bus tour so I need to pick those things up all right bye
mini elevators. They are real. I just carried my suitcase up uh, six flights of stairs, which you're about to see. And it was a small suitcase. It was exhausting. I've already dropped off my luggage at my Airbnb, so now I'm headed out to do some sightseeing. First, I have to go ahead and pick up my hop on, hop off bus tour ticket and my museum pass. And on my way to do that, I saw some really kind of cool Parisian art. And of course I got hungry and I found myself in the Chinese grocery market in Paris, which makes so much sense because I grew up in Chinatown, San Francisco. So I fell on the first place that felt like home and I got some delicious snacks and uh, Parisian or Chinese Parisian type food and I headed out to catch my bus which you'll see soon. feeling like this was the best idea I have ever had. The city is absolutely beautiful, especially at night. So be sure to take a big bus tour. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now we've turned on to Champs Elysees, which is a famous shopping avenue in Paris. You see the lights and some of the white tints. It's because they've set up their Christmas markets. Christmas markets in Europe are a huge thing. They have them in every city town. At the Christmas market, you'll find local vendors and craftsmen. And on the main kind of Champs Elysees, you'll find big business like Gap and H&M. Yay, the Eiffel Tower. I was so happy to see it while it was all lit up at night. It is really beautiful at night. I know some people freak out. I've seen some videos where they just start crying when they see it. No. But what's really cool about the tower is that it was built for the 1889 World's Fair that was held in France, and it was used as the entrance to the World's Fair. After my amazing bus tour, I went to dinner at a restaurant that shall not be named. The people were really nice, the food was disgusting. This wasn't too bad, but this next dish was absolutely horrible. I threw it away. The saving grace was this half-baked chocolate cake. 